हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल In this video we will know about capsular axis using the forceps. So there are some specific forceps which you must know to understand how to use a capsular axis forceps to get a perfect capsular axis every time. So the two important forceps which we use the first one is called shearing force and by shearing force we mean that the movement of the forceps and the pull is parallel to the capsular tear now as against that in case of a ripping force the movement of the forceps and the pull is perpendicular to the capsular tear so the interplay between two will determine the capsular axis now few prerequisites are well formed anterior chamber and keeping the flap flat on the anterior capsule leaking anterior chamber will alter the vectoral forces and similarly a raised intracular pressure is going to change the vectoral forces so you have to reduce the intralenticular pressure first now watch this clip and then we'll review this clip again because you might feel that i'm doing a very good capsular axis here using the forceps but if we break it down we'll see that the capsular axis here is much larger than what it was intended and on one side the right side you can see that optic is not covered by the anti capsule so this imperfection is caused because of the interplay between these forces now let's watch the same clip again and here we'll split it into smaller clips so i start the capsular axis using a capsular axis forceps and i made the first nick i have started pulling this tear here and if you watch it closely in slow motion initially i am using almost 100% shearing force as my movement is parallel to the tear now as i move i do not regrasp then the direction becomes more and more perpendicular until it becomes 100% ripping force the same pattern will repeat when we regrab the tear near the edge so initially it will be 100% shearing but as you keep pulling the percentage of ripping becomes more and more so what is the right moment to regrasp so watch this closely as the ripping force has increased it's more than the shearing force this is the right time to regrasp and you can watch this pattern to understand this is the right point to regrasp but if we don't do that and we continue to pull it further we are going to have 100% ripping force and then this might result in unnecessarily a large capsular axis because now we are pulling perpendicular to the capsular axis tear so if we regress after reaching 100% of the ripping force then we are already late so if this step is ignored we are likely to get undesired outcome of a larger or irregular capsular axis so once you understand this particular pattern which is developing whenever we grab and regrab this capsular axis tear we'll understand how to make it perfect in each and every case so it's always the interplay between the forces and when to regrasp so now watch this case now using this knowledge when i try to keep shearing maximum and reduce the amount of ripping when i am doing capsular axis i tend to achieve more controlled capsular axis which i desire so i hope that this video will make you understand when you are doing capsular axis with forceps you will try to know exactly the point where you should regrasp thank you for watching